the other. the proposal goes through, uh, if the change goes through, all these students will disappear. And that really concerns me. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned in your proposal uh, change document um, that um, the um, philosophy underpinning the TAS program is theory informed by practice, which does not easily fit into traditional theatre performance or traditional scholarly area. You mentioned that performance studies model that exists between performance and study. Since enrolling in 2007 in the, in the um, Theatre and Film Studies of the PhD, I have been to conferences all over the world where the Canterbury Theatre and Film Studies is respected. Performance studies is taught at the following universities. Brown, Berkeley, Calgary, Buffalo, Tel Aviv, Melbourne, um, Victoria, Tokyo, NYU, Tisch School of Arts, Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, the Sorbonne, Stanford, Zagreb, New South Wales, King's College London. They seem to think that performance studies is worthy of study. But you at the University of Canterbury are saying that this is too difficult to pursue. We have international excellence. We have community outreach. I work with people with intellectual disabilities in the community in Christchurch. I've worked with them since 2004. I did this PhD because I want to better understand how I can help those people, how I can reach the community of Christchurch, and how I can understand what performance and community means. And I'm sorry, but your proposal wants to diminish my work and take away the, the opportunities for those people with disabilities and take away the, the opportunities for people, for students in the future, and it will diminish Christchurch. Okay. Well, I, I... words and I appreciate your passion but let me point this out to you um, if you ask PhD students in any of our 25 uh, programs in political science in sociology in human services in painting in sculpture in music I'm proud to say you would get the same impassioned speech the, the fact is we cannot afford to do all that we're doing why cut theater now okay so the question is why cut theater and film studies I'm um, very happy to continue to hear all the reasons why not to. The reasons to have to do with an inability to resource it appropriately, uh, among others. Okay, I'm Sarah and I'm a Film and Theatre Studies major. I came to the Careers Advisor a year ago to say, what do I need to do? I want to be a high school drama teacher. I need two subjects in order to be able to teach. I'm taking history and I'm taking Film and Theatre. Mm. But now you take Film and Theatre Studies away, I now don't have a secondary subject. And also, I have wasted spots in my academic papers because you're going to take away what was meant to be my major, and I've got irrelevant papers filling up my degree. Mm -hmm. And so, is there going to be compensation for those holes that are now in my transcript? Yeah. Or are you going to set something else up so yeah. that I can actually fulfill the degree that I set out to do when I started? Yeah, and, and how far along are you in the in I'm the down point? five papers and I've got, um, I'm doing two this semester, I'm a part-time student. That was my intention from the get-go. Mm -hmm. I have a family. Mm -hmm. I can't up and move to Wellington or Otago or Auckland. Mm -hmm. I'm here because I was told that this program was going to be set in place. Okay. And it's, a, it's you, being sorry, taken, no, sorry. but you're taking it away. Tell me. Sarah. Sarah's, Sarah's point is, is an important one and, and part of the reason that I brought my team with me to help me explain to you that we do have a duty of care to students in terms of helping you get through your degree programs. Uh, we can't say what we would do because we haven't yet said we're going to close these programs. So, uh, Do you have a plan? A five, have you thought about a, it? Yeah, this is a five why can't you tell period us? of, of uh, consideration as to whether we... So why did Rod say yesterday that uh, there's not going to be any postponement uh, past the, you know, of, this, of this proposal when George Parker asked him yeah. Uh, about that. It, 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 the, the, the point of it is, is that Rod was not saying anything different than I'm saying. The so you're saying the same thing, that this can't be postponed, it's going to go through. I'm saying that up, at, up at, between now and May 4th, you've got an opportunity to give me lots of feedback. Uh, it then goes through academic board to the council, and after that, if, if there is a determination to discontinue any of these programs, then we what were weight working does, does our complaint have on that decision? Well, I'm listening. I really am. No, but what <laughs> weight does that have on the decision of whether the departments are going to close? Look, whatever you, uh, let's step back for a minute and understand that if the university can't do as much as it's doing, it may have to discontinue something. Now, whatever we discontinue, I promise you, there would be up to the rafters groups of students. In fact, in most, in many programs, we have to use a larger space because we've got some programs that have huge numbers of majors. 
And in each case, there would be very legitimate questions about how to complete, and, and we do take those seriously, and we will be coming up with and articulating plans to help each of you if it is the case that these programs don't continue. However, universities make these sorts of determinations all the time. I, I spent 30 years at the largest university in the States where it was a part of the fabric of things. I meet with my PBC colleagues who are PBCs of Arts for the other six tertiaries in New Zealand. We talk about this all the time, and I can give you examples of programs that have been closed at Massey or at Mercado, et cetera. And in each case, there's an obligation to students, but universities have got to be strategic into the future. They've got to make tough decisions. You're here to tell me perhaps I'm making, we would be making the wrong decision to choose these programs. Okay. But let me tell you, that, and, and, and that may be true and it may not be true, but I guarantee you that of any of the 25 programs in arts, if I proposed any of them, students would be sitting up to the rafters what telling me the same thing. Yeah. Are you looking at other colleges? Absolutely. Do we get compensation for this for a wasted year, for a wasted work year, for moving to have to go to Otago or to Wellington? Do we get um, money to stay there? Because at the moment I'm staying at my parents' house, mm. which means I don't have to pay, but if I was going to move to Otago, I would. Do we get compensation for that and payment? Yeah, well, first of all, it's a hypothetical now because we have not uh, closed anything. We're thinking so about it. it. So if if these programs are Could discontinued, to court? if these programs are discontinued, our obligation is to help students uh, towards towards degree completion. And I think that we would then have a, a lot of serious work to do to try to help every student, each in your own way achieve that at the University of Canterbury, and that's my hope. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, my name's Andrew. I'm doing a major in theater and film studies. Okay. I'd like to. Uh -huh. um, first of all, when you were talking about urgency, you'd say it's more urgent to build a big pub next to a primary school than it is to give us... I didn't say that. Well, it's a decision made by the university. No, no that, that, fund, that, that funding uh, stream is completely different. I but, uh, in response to different, different I, I did American learning. Studies paper last year okay. and thought it was excellent. The uh -huh. lecture was excellent, really taught me a lot more and taught me to question, which is helping me with this degree. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, one of the reasoning behind getting rid of American Studies is, as it says here in the change proposal, but its relevance and centrality are no longer what they were 20 or 30 years ago. What happens to Greek history? Since I wrote that, let me defend it because that's a little piece of a great big statement and I can't read the whole thing. I'd like to know, do you pay for your office? Do I pay for my office? Do you office? pay for your office? Do I pay for my office? I'm going to say it is not. Okay. So if that history didn't exist, would you expect your job to cease existing? And, and your point behind that well, is Well, you're what? saying that we had this as a program for the facilities which were wiped out by the earthquake. If your facility was wiped out by an effect, would you expect your job? I'm telling you that the Theatre and Film Studies staff has told me consistently and insistently well, that the facilities they, they need so that you can be but successful. The context of the earthquake, which is what this is in the context, no. is per this first sentence in the thing, could you please answer my question? Yep. Would you expect your job to cease existing if the facilities of your office did not exist? The obligation that I have is to look into the future and provide yes, sufficient support. Well, well, we pay for the support. Will you fix it or not? We pay a certain amount towards facilities, at least towards, if not the full cost. Mm -hmm. So do we not deserve the facilities? Do we deserve to be cut because those facilities don't exist? Would you expect your job to be cut if your facilities yeah, did not exist? Every major deserves to have adequate facilities so the teaching can be a better place. Do you actually just make sure? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take this question up here now. I'm Sophia, and I'm a theater film maker. Uh -huh. um, and I was wondering if cutting these courses is the only possibility, or because we're all creative students and lecturers, if we've considered coming to us and coming yes. up with other creative solutions, yeah, yeah. this is what we do. Yeah. <laughs> students are very creative students so bring me your suggestions absolutely